told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way Hello my friends, it's been a while, life has been crazy But I decided to pop up on here again and share with you some cleaning motivation for your kitchen living and dining room. You try to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away. But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to gray. As you fade away. If you have seen my prior videos, you will notice that this, yet again, is a new house that we live in. That was us moving a third time in less than two years. If you're new here, here's our background. Me and my husband lived in California and we moved to Germany when my first son was born. That was in 2015. We lived there with my mom and four years later we decided to move back to the US. Now with three kids under four we moved to Tampa at the end of 2019. One year later we moved across Florida to the Miami area where we bought a three bedroom townhouse. After exactly one year of living there, a four-bedroom townhouse was for sale and we decided to buy that one as well and move yet again. So here we are in the new house. Right now, my older kids are at school and daycare. My husband is at work. It's only me and the baby. So, as I mentioned, I really try to keep our things and belongings to a minimum, especially because we tend to move around quite a lot. I don't want things to weigh down on us and make moving difficult. I try not to get too attached to whatever I think I have right now. I feel like moving has been a very positive aspect in our lives. As soon as we are getting too comfortable with what we have, we explore new options and life choices. We like to explore and change things because we don't want to be comfortable with our situation and always try to improve our lives, experiences and living situation. working from home part-time with four kids and lots of out-of-school activities. I feel like I'm spread so thin in many areas of my life. Our kitchen island always becomes the catch-all for the kids' school and artwork. I do not have a designated area for those papers because I try to make an effort to digitize whatever I want to keep for my memories. 
but I tend to wait for a quiet time slot to handle this paperwork so it just piles up on the kitchen island together with various other things and of course I am the only one who deals with all that stuff. One thing I'm learning is that if you let things pile up like this it may linger until the pile becomes such an eyesore that I finally deal with it. I recently came across the two minute rule where if a task takes two minutes or less just immediately do it so that it will not remain in your mind and cause more stress because you're constantly bothered by things that need to be done. Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same way Got a build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace I never really asked to be brought into this place You wanna love me? Well then baby have a taste All the highs and the lows no, you'll never be the same I don't really want to hurt you But I can't control the pain If you're sticking by my side Maybe we could be okay Okay, okay Maybe you could be the change I need today I promise that I've never felt this way I really hope that you Will choose to stay Through all the pain I know you told your friend You're not okay And tell me what's wrong And why you never said You felt that way Trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away So as I mentioned, I really try to keep our things and belongings to a minimum Especially because we tend to move around quite a lot I don't want things to weigh down on us and make moving difficult. I try not to get too attached to whatever I think I have right now. I feel like moving has been a very positive aspect in our lives. As soon as we are getting too comfortable with what we have, we explore new options and life choices. We like to explore and change things because we don't want to be too comfortable with our situation and always strive to improve our lives, experiences and living situation. Lately, I have been disillusioned with my hopes and dreams of putting our kids through various out-of-school activities. What do I mean by that? I have definitely expected more out of it, but time and time again I realized that if we want our kids to really be good at something, we have to put the effort into it ourselves. I felt like driving them to their dance or soccer classes was me showing up and I did all I could. I would feel like I'm doing my part and ensuring my kids have an enriched life by putting them in activities. This costs me time and money. I have to keep a schedule of all the activities and various recitals, games, or days the activity is closed for a holiday. I pick the kids up early from daycare that we already paid for and put them in an activity that I believed was teaching the kids new skills. I already was disappointed in a previous dance recital where the kids barely knew the moves and we assumed it was that particular school, so we signed up at another school. But six months later, at the new school, me and my husband sat down the night after my daughter's latest recital and we realized it was possibly the way we are exposing them to these activities and we came up with a new philosophy of teaching our kids. We, as parents, will have to take the time and effort to teach them ourselves whatever we want to teach them. For example, I want them to dance. That's something I feel like I missed out in my childhood and I want to change that for them. So I sent them to various dance classes for the past two years but with little success. They do not practice what they have learned at home. A lot of times they forget the steps and I'm just not happy about sending my kids to dance class for four months for them to learn one single dance choreography to be performed at the recital at the end of each season. Plus, whatever dance style they learned is not really relevant for everyday dance moves. So yeah, you can probably tell I'm extremely disappointed in the experience I had. 
So I have now realized that if we as parents don't take matters in our own hands and implement certain things into our family life, nobody will care and the skills I was hoping my kids would acquire will just stay dreams. Nobody really cares as much as us parents. So I had to figure out what I was going to do moving forward. What will work for us? And I feel so blessed to have been able to identify this. I don't know what shifted, but now we spend more time as a family, all learning a certain popular dance move. I save time driving my kids from one activity to another, and we're saving some money as well. We're following a schedule just as we would if there was an official class in place, and my kids are super excited about every training session together. This is one of the reasons why it is so important for me to simplify my household chores to free up time and energy for meaningful activities. I know you told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way And guess you try to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to gray We just got back from a three-day weekend at Legoland, where we celebrated my son's seventh birthday. The suitcases are still here in the living room. I need to take them back upstairs and unpack everything and store them away. Our experience there was amazing and we're definitely going back there. But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to gray as you fade away. I hope you enjoyed my video. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button down below. And I'll catch you next time. Broken, but I hope you can't help. I know